Chapter 6. This chapter will explain in detail the steps for importing the personnel and authorization information to AMS. The importer, exporter tool will be used to import those data to AMS that have been exported from APE. The tool has already been installed on the AMS server and this process was presented in Chapter 4. The data which were exported from APE in Chapter 3 have been copied to the same location on the AMS server, just as they were exported on the APE machine. This is shown now on the screen, and it is inside the export folder under the APE migration folder. Open the ACE authorizations.csv file with notepad to see its contents. It contains a header line. The six custom made authorizations and in the last row the default authorization. The header line will not be imported. Open the ACE persons.csv file with notepad. It also contains a header line followed by the two default persons in APE. Then by the card holders. Under persons, the various job levels, such as general manager, are stored in the remark field in APE. Some card holders appear twice on the list. This is because they have more than one authorization, or, to use APE terminology, more than two authorization groups have been assigned to them. Open the ACE visitors.csv file. There is one header line followed by the two configured visitors. The next task before starting the import process is to check whether all necessary services are running. These services are the Access Engine DMS and MAX services. All Access Management System services. The Import Export ACEWS service. The RabbitMQ service and the relevant SQL services. Use the link on the desktop to start the importer, exporter tool as administrator. Use the credentials of the previously mentioned importer operator to log in. The error message is straightforward. Perhaps the operator does not have the necessary API usage right. This can be easily checked in AMS. Check the username first. Then, to be sure, assign the API usage again and save the changes. Start the importer, exporter tool again and log in. This time, everything seems to be all right and the tool is opened. The landing page shows the list of the import templates. Click the new button to create a new import template. Press add to accept that the template file will be a CSV file. Give a name to the import template, such as APE persons. Then select the ACE persons.csv file from the previously introduced export folder and press open. Then select the checkbox to confirm that in the CSV file the first row is the header line of the columns. Select the second checkbox as well, to enable the auto mapping. At the additional data section, select the zip file option and the card holder photos will be imported from a zip file. Then click next to move to the next page. On this page the list of persons, actually the content of the CSV file, is shown. 
After a quick check move on to the next page by pressing the next button. Although the Add Entities to ACE option is already selected, you can click it again. Even though the selected destination is correct, you can select it one more time. Then press the Save button at the lower right corner to finish the configuration of this import template. In the Action column, click the Import icon. At the dialog, select the previously selected ACE persons.csv file as source file. At select the photos.zip file for the choose photos archive option. Then click the import button. Now the screen changes to the agent tab where the status of this import task can be followed. For a few seconds it shows as pending. Then it will be in progress. The larger the database, the longer the import will need. In this example after a couple of seconds the import will be completed. Go back to the Import tab to create a new import template to import the authorizations. Click the New button and the Add button to acknowledge that the template file will be a CSV file. Type the name of the import template, like APE authorizations. Then select the ACE authorizations.csv file from the export folder described previously, and press Open. Then select the checkbox to confirm, that in the CSV file the first row is the header line of the columns. Select the second checkbox as well to enable the auto mapping. Then click Next to move to the next page. On this page the list of the individual authorizations, as the content of the CSV file, is shown. After a quick check move on to the next page by pressing the Next button. Although the Add Entities to ACE option is already selected, you can click it again. Even if the selected destination is correct, you can select it one more time. Then press the Save button at the lower right corner to finish the configuration of this import template. In the Action column, click the Import icon. In the dialog, select the previously selected ACE authorizations.csv file as source file. Then click the Import button. The screen is changed to the Agent tab. After a few seconds in pending state, it changes to in progress. In this example configuration, the system completes the import in few seconds. Go back to the Import tab to create the last import template to import the visitors. Press the New button to create a new import template. Press Add to accept that the template file will be a CSV file. Give a name to the import template, like APE Visitors. Then select the ACE Visitors.csv file from the export folder and press Open. Select the checkbox to confirm that in the CSV file the first row is the header line of the columns. Select the second checkbox to enable the auto mapping. At the additional data section, you have to select the zip file option because the visitor's photos will be imported from a zip file. Click next to move to the next page. On this page, the list of visitors shown is actually the contents of the CSV file. After a quick check, move on to the next page by pressing the next button. Although the Add Entities to ACE option is already selected, you can click it again. However, the selected destination is correct you can select it one more time. Then press the Save button to finish the configuration of this import template. In the Action column, click the Import icon. In the dialog, select the previously selected ACE Visitors.csv file as source file. And select the photos.zip file for the Choose Photos Archive option. Then click the Import button. Now the screen changes to the Agent tab where the status of this import task can be followed. In the first few seconds it is pending, then it will be in progress. The import will be completed in a few seconds. Now, all cardholders and visitors with photos and authorizations are imported to the database of AMS. Log out of the importer, exporter tool and close the browser window.